One of my lifelong goals is to introduce a new word or acronym that makes it into common use. Uh, maybe not so much get into the dictionary or the encyclopedia, but invent something on par with how a lot of people use internet slang, right? Uh, LOL or uh, IDC for I don't care. Uh, so one of the first words I ever invented was many, many years ago, my parents didn't want me to date anybody of a different race. I, I, um, I was dating an Eastern European girl and uh, my family got a little bit upset. They didn't want our family tree to go in a different direction. Let's put it that way. I was watching Elton John's music video, Nikita, and it was about Elton John um, having a relationship with a uh, a girl from across the Berlin Wall during the Cold War. And so from then on, Nikita came to mean uh, Eastern European girl. I was going to college when I accidentally used somebody's print quota one night by mistake. I had sat down at a computer to print some things and I didn't realize the computer was already logged in. I quickly plugged in my thumb drive and printed something. When I went to get the printout, I realized that it was under somebody's username. I thought the computer had made a mistake. And then I realized, oh my god, I was logged into somebody else's machine, or their account. And I had, I had used up about 100 pages of print quota. They were quite expensive for, for college students, right? You, uh, it was a good part of our budget to think about that, so it seemed like I had uh, ripped them off really badly. I mean, now looking back at it, it, it was more like five, ten bucks, but at the time it seemed like a fortune. And um, when I looked, the username was JIF4. And later that day, I was kind of bragging to a friend about how I had accidentally stolen some print quota. My friend looked at the uh, username page at the front of the uh, printout, and he said that I had gifed, gifed that guy. Now, um, four years ago, actually six years ago now, I was driving home to my family in Pittsburgh. I was living in Seattle, I was driving to Pittsburgh. I stopped in Minnesota. I was at a grocery store when I saw a very overweight guy sitting at a bench just outside the grocery store, drinking a Coke out of a two liter bottle. And I thought that's how the state Minnesota got its name because the people there drink a lot of soda. It was an African American overweight guy and now looking back at it, I wonder if it was George Floyd. I, I looked up information about his favorite soda, you know, what, what store he might have shopped at. I, I, I didn't get any uh, good, good hits on that. I really, really wonder if it was George Floyd. So ever since then, uh, sometimes soda, I'll, I'll name it Sota instead, right? Because I don't like the word soda. So I'll call it Soda, so, Sota. I, how much SOTA do you drink? What's your favorite? Especially if it's written on the computer, right? It's kind of hard to pronounce SOTA in your everyday life. Uh, but um, so I wonder if it was George Floyd now looking back at it. I also like acronyms. When we uh, first went into quarantine two and a half years ago, I really didn't like the words social distancing because at the time I was still trying to network with the right people to get my ideas off the ground. I had some ideas about computer games I wanted to write. Nowadays I have ideas on uh, art that I want to make. You guys saw me melting down some pennies the other day. I hope to melt down some silver coins later this week. And so I need to network with the right people. Now I, I understand there's a pandemic going on, but I wish they had used better words than social distancing. I mean, um, certainly, uh, I understand the reason for it. I just didn't like the words for it. And so I, I invented an acronym, SD, for social distancing. I didn't like the word social distancing. I would just say SD, uh, especially if we were, we were typing on the computer. Did you, did, do you still need to SD in your city? Or uh, uh, something, something to that effect, right? I was at Walmart and the, the guy in front of me refused to SD or something. That, that's what I would say. Uh, anyway, I'm still working on it, but I hope to invent a word that will be in common use one day.